Snow is Falling by Franklin M. Branley, illustrated by Holly Keller. Let's read and find out about science. Published by Harper Collins. Snow is falling. Night has come and snow is falling. It is quiet. The snow falls without a sound. Look at the street light. The snow is falling in front of it. It may fall all night. The snow may fall all day. The snow gets deeper and deeper. Lawns are white. Trees are white. And so are the roofs of houses. Everything is covered. Everything is white. Everything is quiet and cold. It is always cold when snow falls. It is so cold that water vapor freezes in the air. This makes snowflakes. Let a snowflake fall on your mitten. Sometimes snowflakes stick together and fall as a cluster of flakes. They also fall as single flakes. Look at the single snowflake on your mitten. Use your magnifying glass to make it look bigger. Each snowflake has six sides. The snowflake may look like this, or this, or like this. Sometimes snow is wet and sticky. When you walk in wet, sticky snow, you splash and slip and slide. Sometimes snow is light, dry, and fluffy. Walking through light snow is fun. You can kick it up into the air. You can scoop up a big shovel full of light, dry snow. You can run and roll and ski in the snow. You can slide on your sled. You can build a snowman. Snow can be fun, but what does snow do? Is it good for plants? Is it good for animals? Is it good for you and me? Let's find out. Snow covers plants that must stay in the ground all winter. The snow is like a blanket. Because the plants are covered, wind, ice, and cold cannot hurt them. Plants that are covered with snow can live through the cold winter. Snow is good for plants. Snow is good for many animals too. Worms and mice, moles and chipmunks stay under the ground all winter. The blanket of snow keeps the wind and cold from the animals. Snow helps to keep them warm. Get two thermometers. On a cold day when the wind is blowing, bury one thermometer in the snow. Hang the other thermometer outdoors, but not in direct sunlight. After an hour or so, Uncover the thermometer in the snow. What is the temperature? It is warmer under the snow. Snow protects many plants and animals from wind and from getting very cold. Snow protects people too. In the far north, people sometimes built houses of snow. They built a house from blocks cut out of hard packed snow. They piled blocks high to make a round snow house. Sometimes people today still build houses like this. Snow is good in other ways. Melted snow gives us water for our wells, our streams, and our rivers. When winter is over, the sun warms the snow. The snow melts slowly and the water goes into the soil. The soil is ready for planting. Plants grow well in the loose, moist, warm soil. Sometimes snow is not good. When strong winds blow, the soft, quiet snow becomes a howling blizzard. A blizzard makes life hard for animals and people. When snow piles high, it may be so deep that animals cannot move. The snow covers their food, 
power lines blow down, cars get stuck. The deep snows of winter may melt fast in the spring. Sometimes there is more water than the streams can carry away, so the streams overflow. Houses, barns, and whole towns are flooded. Snow can make life hard, but it also makes it fun to roll, run, ski, and slide. Snow gives us water for our wells, streams, and rivers. Snow is good for plants and animals. Snow is good for people. It is good for you and me. The end. We hope that you enjoyed this reading of Snow is Falling. Let's read and find out about science. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.